Niners got the W in Cincinnati. Not no no no. They didn't get the W. They got they 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 went into Paul Brown Stadium and single handedly beat the brakes off of this Bengals team. I mean Garoppolo. Yes, that interception was bad. He had, but despite that interception and despite that bad decision. He kind of looked good. Uh, three touchdowns, 297 yards, 15 of 24 for passing. Uh, one was to Marquise Goodwin. One was to Debo Samuel. And the third was to Raheem Mostert. So, uh, speaking of Raheem Mostert, Raheem Mostert is a stud. Uh, this this guy is really, really good. Um, and I'm really glad they re-signed him because he's he plays with all heart. He has a high level of an intensity when he plays. He's quick. He's powerful. He has a uh, he has a high football IQ. This guy's a really good asset to this team, and uh, we don't need Tevin Coleman to score forty one points. We don't need Jalen Hurd to score forty one points, and we don't need even Trent Taylor to score forty one points. This offense is rolling. Shanahan came in there wanting it all, and he took it all away from the Bengals. I mean, forty one points. We haven't scored forty one points since two thousand thirteen uh, on the road, um, and. And it's our first time starting 2-0 since 2012. If you guys don't remember, 2012 was a Super Bowl year. Um, yeah, so 2012 was the last time we uh, we, we started 2-0 um, on the road. Um, this team looks good, man. I, I was I was kind of nervous about, you know, the, the, the jet lag the players might get when, when you know, traveling to these, uh, to for these away games. But it, it, it hasn't even... Shook the 49ers one bit. I mean, this team is legit. We went in there, got the W, and I'm hoping we can do it next week against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, now, for the offense or for the defensive side, another great uh, day for the defense. Uh, Ronald Blair stepped up big time. I noticed he was in on a lot of plays. He had a sack. Ronald Blair is playing lights out. Quan Alexander was. I, I keep telling people, Quan Alexander is one of the most underrated linebackers in the NFL, and he, he proved it today. He was all over the field. I mean, tackle, I think he had five solo tackles. He had an interception. Uh, perfect coverage on that interception he had. I believe Tyler Eifert or maybe Tyler Boy was the intended target for Andy Dalton on that interception Quan Alexander had. But this team's playing really, really good. Um, it's got us Niners fans hyped, and... Um, I'm hoping we can go into uh, or go home to uh, Santa Clara and uh, beat the beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, Big Ben got hurt today, so that could help the Niners out depending on if he plays or not. James Conner also got hurt today with a knee injury. So Steelers are banged up. Steelers do not look good at all. They just got beat by Seattle today. Niners 2-0 uh, looked really, really good offensively. Jimmy Garoppolo finally got the monkey off his back. Had a really good day, but... Something about Garoppolo is that the interceptions he throws are, like, stupid. Like, incredibly stupid throws. So, the, the, that's like an easy fix for him uh, that he can, you know, he can fix. It's I mean, it's not like he's not being accurate. I mean, he's accurate when he throws. It's just some of the, the mental errors are, are kind of just playing out stupid. So, those can easily be fixed. He just got to make the right decisions mentally. He's got the IQ, he's got the arm, he's got the talent, and um, he proved it today. Uh, so, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers next week at home, and then we take a bye week, um, and then we face the Cleveland Browns in that Monday night football game. Speaking of the bye week, it really helped out that the Niners have a week four bye, because Tevin Coleman, um, Trent Taylor, and Jalen Hurd will be back in time for week, uh, week five against the... Uh, against the Browns on Monday Night Football. That is a home game. I'm not worried about the Browns. They're overrated. They're getting too overhyped. I'm just not a big fan of them. I, I They just they look like they haven't even played as a team together. That's why you play in preseason. Browns benched a lot of their starters during the whole preseason, and it showed week one that when they got skunked by the Titans. So I'm not really worried about the Browns. At some point, they're going to turn it around, though. It's not on week five, though, because the Niners are going to win that game. Um... On the other side, uh, of on on another note, um, Joe Staley went down with a broken fibula. That kind of that was a kind of a big bummer. The veteran guy has been on the roster since 
God knows how long. I mean, he was he's the only guy on our, our current roster that was on the Super Bowl squad uh, back when back in 2012 with Harbaugh. So he went down with a broken fibula today. Expect the Niners to either sign Sam Young um, or who is that other guy they worked out? Sam Young and somebody else. But they could bring in Sam Young or shout out to Hawk Hater TV before I say this because he brought this to light and I never even thought about it. Trent Williams is still currently on a holdout with Washington. Do the Niners trade for him with, with uh, Joe Staley going down? It's a really, it's, it's kind of, it would make sense because we're getting, you know, Joe Staley goes down, bam. It's like he didn't even go down. We're adding Trent Williams. He's an all-pro left tackle. I, I think the Niners shoot for it. Or... Do the Niners just stick with Sam, bring in Sam Young on a one-year deal and trade for Minka Fitzpatrick? I think we should trade for Minka Fitzpatrick and Trent Williams. Throw it all out there, Lynch. Go get some of these key assets this team uh, needs. Um, well, they need now because uh, they didn't need a left tackle until he went down. But we'll see how it pans out. Pittsburgh Steelers are coming to San Fran, uh, or not San Fran, Santa Clara, for... Uh, the home opener, so uh, excited about that game. I think we have a really good team to beat them, and I think we can beat them. We got to limit mental errors. We got to limit penalties. There was actually a touchdown called back today, so we got to limit penalties. Still, things upon that nature. But other than that, this Niners team is complete. It looks really, really good, talented. I'm excited, man. Uh, I'm ex- I'm super excited. So. I'll be dropping vi- more videos this week on the Niners and um, expect a few more videos probably coming out tonight. I'll probably make a few more videos tonight. But Niners get the W and are taking it home against the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers for, for the home opener. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. It's Niners JTV, and I'm out of here.